Two days ago, you saw me unbox and install my first 950 Pro. Today, I'm unboxing the second. But where am I going to put it? You may notice there's already one installed right there. Well, that's where this comes in. PCI adapter. Simple enough. Notice it says PCIe 3.0. That's important. And four, four lanes. That's also important for full speed. So in theory, since uh, Intel 750 NVMe fits so nicely and works so well in that slot, and its speed is fine, well, I should get the same speed from this, whether it's using this part of the PCIe bus or PCIe bus right in the M2 interface. So I'm about to find out. Uh, it's real handy that I already have Windows 10 installed on here, and it'll make it easy because the NVMe driver from Samsung is already installed. So all I really need to do is slip this M.2 device into the card and then the card into the server and I should be good to go. So here we go. Actually, there's something I forgot in the unboxing yesterday, so let me show you that today. get really close and on the back these are kind of finger grips so that's one thing I messed up when I was unboxing the first time that's where you hold it when you're trying to pop it open okay now that it's starting to go becomes easy I have no static concerns it's a warm humid day actually there it is. I didn't show the contents of the box yesterday either. Actually, two days ago, excuse me. So a nice close look at the front. Let's have a look around at the back. All right. Use those finger grips again, and now there's a second thing to pull out here. And I struggled a little bit on camera with that yesterday, too. There you go. That's it. Okay. So, yeah, use those finger grips, makes things a little easier. Now, this very generic looking box. Uh, yeah, not the most impressive packaging. I'll list the part number and so forth. I got it on the article that accompanies this video. Okay, there's that instruction sheet. And it looks like they thought to give me the screw that I'm going to need. Oh, that was unexpected. It's taped. All right. So there's the screw. And I'm going to need the short plate because it's a low profile slot back here on the super server. Don't really think I'm going to need an instruction sheet to handle putting this together. That is a smaller screw than what I have on my motherboard. All right, 2280, right there. So already I have a problem. My card is gonna be longer than the default post position. Problem, not a big deal. I just gotta move this post. How will I do that? Unscrew the back, no problem. All right, I'm gonna need Definitely a smaller Phillips. So it's a little bit unusual for the screw size there. Oh, 
little awkward to try to keep the camera view clear. Sorry about that. Screws released. Move that. Move the post over. That's a little bit tricky. And now I gotta get that screw to get started without stripping it. Okay, so now we have a 2280. Slide that in. Drop that down and tighten the screw. All right, probably could have done the order a little better. Would have been good to take off the back plate first. Remember, I need a smaller one. I just need to go carefully with the screwdriver so I don't accidentally jam it into this expensive storage. So a magnetized Phillips head, regular size is handy for this. Okay, so the screwdriver side, let's install that card. Okay, I want to make sure Everything's lined up. There's plenty of room. That was pretty darn easy. And make sure we don't strip it. Nope, it's going in nice and easily. That's it. My BIOS, my OS, everything else is set. Just need to power it up. Uh, this jumper here is for an external LED if you have one. So that's kind of interesting. Okay, uh, thank you for watching and for visiting Tinkertry.com.